Hi. Um, it's me, Bliss. I, um, just wanted to... Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot about those human rules again. Um, permission to enter Captain's Quarters? <laughs> Alright, thanks so much. And sorry that I forgot again. I guess since I was so used to just hanging out with you so casually on my ship that it sometimes slips my mind that there's other human protocols that I need to follow now that I'm on yours. Funny how that works. I guess we got to spend so much time together under my roof, so to speak. And now I get to spend some time under yours. Well, not yours, exactly, since I know now that most human ships are just kind of owned by your space corporation and not individuals, but I totally get it. I am really excited to be here. Uh, but you probably already knew that. I, um, well... The first thing that I should say is, nothing's wrong, actually. I know that usually when people come into your quarters this late at night, it's probably for, like, emergency things or something that's not so pleasant. But for me, that's not the case tonight. If that's okay, anyway. I wouldn't want to interrupt you if you're doing anything important. And if something does come up, then obviously this conversation will get postponed. Or skipped. I've been around your ship long enough to understand how it works. You guys tend to like to drop everything when there's a disaster, which, well, it doesn't happen that often, but I feel like it definitely happens more than it happened on my ship. But, well, I guess I can't judge you for how you run things. Ever since I was initiated to be certified to fly human ships and join your crew, I've been kind of a connector of the peoples a little bit. And I think that's super awesome. Not to, like, totally trash your ship, but, well, I will go ahead and say that it's definitely much better now that my people have added some enhancements to it. And hopefully I can continue to make that happen even more. Because, well, not to, like, totally complain or anything, but I thought my ship was slow, especially when it was tugging yours along, but yours is slower still. Actually, it's a little bit funny, but I went ahead and did the math, and your ship was actually moving faster when it was tractor beamed with my ship than it would off on its own. And that was like when it was super damaged, versus when it was supposed to be flying all by itself. <laughs> but I guess that time is close to being over now, since my people are helping your people build better and even more efficient ships. And it goes both ways, too, since your people have been helping me and mine with all kinds of other things, like cooking food and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and there's other stuff, too, like our cultures are kind of matching together better, which means that we're learning more about each other, and, well, I'm just really enjoying it. I know that my people aren't exactly strangers to meeting strangers. I mean, we are kind of from all over the universe, and we know all kinds of different people, but, well, I'm really glad that I kind of got to see the beginning of meeting a new one. I really like it when different species get to interact and grow these beautiful friendships. And the fact that it was kind of based off of our ability to meet each other and get off on a good foot, well, I think that's really cool. And that we kind of get to do something that was just between us, and now it can be between everybody. And everyone's benefiting from it, with the faster ships and the better food and that kind of stuff. So, well, I know I've said it before, but I'm really glad that we met even despite the circumstances. And I'm glad that you were able to open up and make friends with me. I'm sure that it must have been really scary, waking up in my med bay with me looking down at you, and you looking like that, and me looking like this, and, well, I guess I wouldn't have blamed you exactly if you just kind of freaked out or refused to talk to me or something like that. Or even if you just didn't talk to me after you'd been fully officially rescued and back with your own people. But 
Even then, you were still nice to me after that. And it wasn't like it was your only choice to get back home. And you let me be a part of this crew, which is super great. And I know that you totally didn't have to do. And they're super great to me too, by the way. I am super glad that I'm able to experience space with them, rather than just alone. It's like a whole new experience than anything I've ever had before. And... While I know I said before that I originally went to go to space to just kind of be alone with myself and the stars, but... And, well, I think, to be fair, there was some benefit to that. I mean, spending time just with yourself and learning things is good, but, well, I don't think I was exactly ready for how lonely it would be. And... I think that the real thing I set out to do was just to have new and exciting experiences, and meeting you was definitely one of them, though I understand that it wasn't exactly a fun adventure for you. But another fun thing I got to do was being here with you on the station, and now on this ship and your crew, and, well... This is definitely an experience that I never would have been able to have by myself. And I want to hold on to it. So, thank you. A lot. That's part of why I came here. To say that, anyway. So, really, officially, thank you. For everything. Uh, but there was one other part. If you're not busy or tired or whatever. Uh, and it can always just wait until later. I mean, I've been putting it off for a while, actually, already, so I won't really think it's a big deal to push it back a little bit further. And I'm also kind of nervous about it, so, like, if you said you were super busy or something, and that, like, actually, I couldn't tell you about it, then that might be a saving grace for me and not so much of a bad thing. So, yeah. Are you busy? Oh, you're not, huh? Well, that's all right. I guess in that case I should just spit it out, since I've kind of already dangled it in front of you. This is actually something that I've been wanting to tell you since I first met back up with you on the human space station. When I asked you to let me be a part of your crew, uh, but I knew it wasn't exactly the right time then, and, well, I thought that the right time would come around eventually, but then it just never did, so, I don't know. It feels like it's been so long, and it feels weird that I haven't said anything, but also I feel like the longer I wait, the weirder it gets, and, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and get it out of the way now, so... Then I don't have to think about it anymore, since it's kind of been eating at me. And I feel like it's something you need to know. I... I know that I totally met you by chance, and it was kind of a crazy roller coaster to meet you and then get you back home and kind of join our two species together. It's not the kind of thing that I ever thought that I would be able to do, honestly. Most of what I've done these past few months are nothing compared to what I thought I would be doing. I mean, I set out with the intention to explore the stars, but I don't know. I guess I just kind of forgot that part of the point of traveling being meeting a whole bunch of interesting new people. And all the ones I've met are so new and interesting and so much better than I ever thought they could be. And I owe that all to you. And, well, I was thinking the other day about that day way back on the ship, my ship, that is, about our date. Well, back then, I didn't know much about human customs, since I only kind of had you to talk to. But now I know a lot better than I did, and I understand that a date means a lot more than maybe I first thought. And so, while I was just thinking that maybe you just said it because you knew I didn't know what it meant, or maybe 
You said it because you wanted me to? And I know that was like forever ago and all that, but I've just been thinking about it a lot, and then the way that you just let me onto your ship, and then the way that we met and spent so much time together, alone, and, well, I really enjoy your company. Whether it's just me and you, or me and you and a group, or anything, really. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I really like you. I know I don't understand human customs that much, and it's a pretty big thing in my culture to say this, so I understand if it doesn't mean the same thing to you, but I want you to know what it means to me when I say that I enjoy spending time with you so much, and I want to be able to spend more time with you for as long as we possibly can, and I... I really care about you. A lot. I guess the best way I can put it into human words is to say, I love you. And I'm so glad that we were able to meet. And that we were able to keep spending so much time together with each other, even after the kind of crisis that brought us together was resolved. So, I know that I'm kind of just a crew member and you're my captain and all that, but we still have a long way to go, so I hope that we can do most of it together, if that's what you want, that is. Oh? It is? Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, okay, I know that I just kind of, like, put my heart out there, but I don't really know what I expected you to say exactly, it's just, I... It's really nice to hear that you feel the same. And I can't wait to spend even more time with you. We have the rest of the universe ahead of us. And I can't wait to see all of it together. Side by side.